Welcome to your evening WNCT Now update. I'm Kayla Schmidt. Let's get right to our top headlines. Governor Roy Cooper has declared this week Weather Preparedness Week. The week urges North Carolinians to prepare and practice safety plans in case of severe weather. While spring is the most weather active season, severe weather events can happen any time of the year. There will be a statewide tornado drill Wednesday morning at 930. Test messages will be sent via the emergency alert system on radio and TV. Norfolk Southern Railroad is conducting maintenance on tracks in the James City area of New Bern. It is impacting traffic patterns around Coastal Carolina Regional Airport. Individuals trying to access the airport need to use W. Grantham Road and Old Airport Road to access the terminal. On Tuesday, West Grantham Crossing and Williams Road Crossing will be closed. On Wednesday, Howell Road Crossing and Carolina Colors Crossing will be closed. The American Rescue Plan calculator will figure out what your economic impact payment will look like based on your tax filing status, number of dependents, adjusted gross income, and whether or not you file taxes in 2019 or 2020. U.S. residents with a Social Security number can qualify for a stimulus check. However, certain people who didn't file taxes recently may still receive a payment. Workers update the tool as new developments arise in Washington, D.C., but say some users are experiencing an exceptional situation to which the calculator is not applicable and can find guidance in the tool's facts or in the bill itself. We're going to take a quick break and we'll be right back with more news latest information on the coronavirus along with your local news and first alert weather get the free wnct mobile app at the google play and app stores today the wnct mobile app is on your side wherever you are whenever you need it Thanks for staying with us in Jacksonville. A portion of Dennis Road and all of Spruce Court will be closed to traffic for a sewer line repair beginning at 8 p.m. on Thursday. The repair is expected to be completed and the roads reopened early Friday morning. Citizens who live near the end of Dennis Road or along Spruce Court may have limited access by road while the repair is in progress. Those who live in the construction area should consider parking their vehicle outside of the construction area if they need to travel during the overnight hours. President Joe Biden will deliver his first primetime address as president on Thursday, commemorating one year since the COVID-19 pandemic shut down much of the nation. White House Press Secretary announced the president's intentions in her daily press briefing Monday. She says he will discuss the many sacrifices the American people have made over the last year and the grave loss communities and families across the country have suffered. President Biden looks forward to highlighting the role that Americans will play in beating the virus and moving the country toward getting back to normal. That is all for your evening update. Don't forget to tune in to our newscast at 5 p.m. Thanks for joining. I will see you later for a reporter's notebook.